Hiya, Ted! Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me, can't be too careful. Bob. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area? Stop being cheap and get a door that works! Moron. Cordially dead. Ooh, what's this? What is this? A water pipe. Oh. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway just in case. I still have this damn English muffin from the beginning. That should have gone in the damn folio. There's another drill press. Ooh, hello. Small key. It's a shame you don't have small hands, as holding this key would be much easier. It looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which could be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. Hiya, Ted. Just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course. Ha-ha, <laughs> Bob. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. We're days behind schedule. And stop joyriding with the tractor. Dummy. Cordially, Ted. Is it an English muffin? Of course not. Hey, Vladdy. What are we doing? Why? Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game. A fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. <laughs> what the hell? I don't see it. Vladdy, get out of the damn way. Great. Water. Vladdy's favorite. I'm glad you like water. I cannot go in the water. Oh god, here we go again. Hey Ted, I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Wait. Oh, there it is. Two people. How could two... Oh my god. What is this? A locked cello case. Okay. Oh, hello. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello. Dummy. Cordially, Ted. Strange sealed box. Hey, Ted. I need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you, Bob? Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Cordially, Ted. All right. So I'm guessing I need a box cutter or something and something to unlock a locked cello case. You know, like you do. Plus something like a lemon or a hand grenade. Stupid American garbage. All right, the door that closes constantly. Submarine assembly manual. An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Ooh, I got a hammer. And a box cutter. Imagine that. The cheapest box cutter commercially available. This brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered compu completely useless after one swipe. I, I've, I've had those before. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this, instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think these things. A loading skid. What? What? You decided to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain in the wood, and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Just, just, just picked up a pallet. I'm just carrying it around with me. Like I do. I'm so glad that the secure door just shuts for no reason. Can I smash open a cello case? I cannot. Open strange box. It's filled with Fabergé Why you pick eggs. Up so much garbage, idiot. Vladdy does not understand. Hey, shut up. Bob got his hands on these extrav extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy and bought them in bulk so he could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned they didn't contain any chocolate. smash something beautiful ding smash priceless Fabergé egg with a hammer for some reason I got a priceless lockpick easily the most expensive lockpick in the world but you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work accurate so this is gonna be for the cello case Nuclear fuel rod. Vladdy won't say this, but he could probably crawl through that vent and unlock the door. For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Naturally. Hey, Vladdy. What, what vent? This vent? Is it this one? It is this one. In there? Oh, boots of boy. Thanks, Vladdy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid. Ah, ah, stupid wires everywhere. Why is this stupid? Oh, ah, ah, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Oh, ah, Vladdy has to... Oh, ah, can't do this stuff. Ah, ah, boy, guys, so many... Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Nah. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushy drugs. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Flatty did not like any part of that experience. <clears throat> Alright, new path opened. Alright, we have the rod. So I'm pretty sure if we spare it, we're going to spoil the child. So let's not spare it. Just go running down the steps at top speed. Ignoring any and all safety precautions. Well, it wasn't that way, obviously. Is that up here? With the dumbasses? Oh, I went the wrong way. Vladdy, I'm sorry. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, here we go. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. 
Let me stay here, in case you do something stupid. Okay, Vladdy. Thanks for the vote of confidence, you Russian teddy bear. Please wear protective gear before entering reactor room. So I just walk in. To Bob P. McTavish commemorative reactor. Jesus. Oh crap! Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. That isn't right. Wait. Oh god. Crap, I ended up back here. Oh god. Okay, wait. Nope. I think I'm gonna die. Aren't I? Son of a. Oh, I'm gonna die. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, you really blew it. You should probably try that again. This time, I'm gonna figure it out first. Okay, so that's a dead end. And I know there was a map, but that doesn't tell me anything. Aha! There it was. back behind that. Okay, wait. Wait, what? How'd I get back here? know where I'm trying to get to. Let's go look at the map, I guess. Oh no, the map was way up. I think that is where I needed to go. Oh. Okay. Alright, so this is where we start. Right here. Where am I trying to get to? I 
can't actually tell where I need to go. I'm assuming once I get over there, I'll have it. Okay, so. The go button. Open around. Turn there. No, phone, wake up. And then it was... This way. Down here like this. And then I missed the turn. There we go. Okay. This is that little bit. Go down here, turn and go back. Okay, anyway. Down here like this. I got this little whoop right here. Oh! Oh god, I gotta go back? Oh Jesus, okay, hang on. Down here, turn around, turn back to here. That little bit there. got lost. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Haha! -ha! Thanks, map. Horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure completed. With 21 seconds to spare. Hey, Vladdy, I did it! You going to call me not an idiot? Damn it, Vladdy. Alright. So now I'll push the button. Hey! <laughs> Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Slowly power status. Okay! Dude, I'm so awesome. It still looks horribly unsafe everywhere. Come on, Vladdy, let's go. Go where? I have no idea, but we're going. Alright, those idiots were up here. And now the idiots are gone. And I can open the door. Because there's power. What is this stupid thing? I don't know, man. Okay, before I get Vladdy to go in there, let's look around. Control console slot. English muffin? Nope. existentially unstable rock. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock, a facsimile of a rock, an amalgamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. I feel you, rock. I feel you. Alright, Vladdy, come on. You have work to do. Again with the crawling? Yes. Stanya Veselo. Oh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? Yes. And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh. Oh. Hey, Vlad, you garbage. okay? Yeah, damn, ya, Hope this garbage worth Vladdy's suffering. 
But already know the answer. No, because it's garbage! <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Vladdy's really starting to hate Vince. Oh, wrong button. Ah, control console. Due to a communication error, this particular control console was designed to be removable from its base. It was lost approximately 60 times during the facility's existence. Yeah. Wow. So, I raise the ring. This is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. That thing you did was important, probably. I mean, probably. The Ruby Queen told me to raise the rings. Or something like that. Oh. I'll, uh... Let me think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Look, I picked you up, didn't I? Broke off its door thanks to a shoddy soldering job done immediately after the facility Christmas party. You could probably find another door to fit it on. It's just not this one. What? Alright. Corn idiots left. Let's go all the way across. Come on, Vladdy. We have to go open this other door. I don't know what just happened to those accents. There were like four mixed up in there. It was very strange. Chat, this game is weird. Like, I knew that going in, but still, damn. Sound good. No! Tanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Yeah. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. Breaking everything won't help you progress, in case that wasn't clear. Head back to the communal grotto and down to level two. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise... Excuse me, that giant hook to the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means this will probably go very smoothly. Totally. I got this. Oh. Apparently I need a stepladder some point. Got it. Did I see something over here? I did not. Alright, Vladdy, come on. We're leaving. I like the way it just says go to the communal grotto. Like, I remember where the hell that is. 